It's amazing, it's fully electric, and best of all, it folds into a teeny tiny modern size. What am I talking about? No, it's not a new toaster, and no, it's not a spin on the waffle iron. I'm talking, rather incoherently, about a new Israeli car that may revolutionize inner city traffic like almost nothing we've seen on Earth. A prototype for the car uh, from Israeli startup City Transformer is almost done, and from the look of it, I'd say the future has arrived. You know that tiny, annoying space between two cars parked parallel? where if just one of them would have moved back a bit, it would free up a whole new spot. Well, that little space is more than enough room for this little guy. The self-folding system can tuck it into itself, making the car only about a meter in width. And when parked nose first against the curb, you can fit four of these cars in a spot taken by one full-size vehicle. And for anyone who's ever driven, the ci uh, driven inside the city, particularly any Israeli city, you already know that this is a potential game changer. Israel's already on record as one of the most traffic-congested nations on Earth. The country's transportation network is decades behind just about every other Western country on planet Earth. And while this ultra-compact vehicle probably wouldn't be used in inner-city highways, it could make driving and parking in the cities a completely new experience. Best of all, City Transformer designed the little guy to be completely environmentally friendly. A full battery can take you nearly 124 miles. They even designed a joystick for navigation instead of the traditional steering wheel, though in the future the company says that these bad boys will be 100% fully self-driving with AI anyhow. Now, clearly the city of Tel Aviv agrees with me and sees the future in this idea. The city's municipality has greenlit a pilot program to put 50 of these tiny four-wheelers on the road sometime next year for further testing. And with a predicted price tag of under 10 grand, I think I can hear all of you screaming at the TV right now, I want one. Well, good news, they should go up for pre-order sometime in 2019.